Did you know that over 40 million people in the U.S. go fly fishing each year, making it one of the fastest growing outdoor sports? Whether you're drawn to the peacefulness of nature, the thrill of the catch, or just looking for a new hobby to connect with the great outdoors, fly fishing has something for everyone. Welcome to your ultimate guide to fly fishing for beginners in 2024. Today, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know to get started on this exciting journey. By the end of this video, you'll feel confident enough to cast your first line and begin your fly fishing adventure with enthusiasm and a solid foundation. Now, I know that many beginners feel overwhelmed by the complexity of fly fishing. With so many different gear options, techniques, and locations to consider, it can seem like there's a lot to learn. But don't worry, we're going to break it all down step by step so that you can focus on enjoying the experience without getting bogged down by the details. Let's start with the essential gear you'll need. First, you'll need a good fly rod and reel. For beginners, I recommend starting with a 9-foot, 5-weight rod, which is versatile enough for most freshwater fishing scenarios. This size offers a good balance between power and finesse, making it easier to handle in various conditions. Pair it with a matching reel that balances the rod, and you're off to a great start. Next, let's talk about fly lines. You'll want to choose a floating line, which is easier to manage and ideal for learning how to cast. Floating lines are more forgiving and allow you to see how the line interacts with the water's surface, making it a great choice for beginners. Of course, you'll also need flies. There are many types, but for beginners, a selection of basic dry flies, nymphs, and streamers will cover most fishing situations you'll encounter as you start out. Once you have your gear, it's time to learn the basics of casting. The key to casting is all about rhythm, timing, and letting the rod do the work. I'll demonstrate a simple casting technique that you can practice right away, even before you head to the water. First, hold the rod with a firm but relaxed grip. Start with the line in front of you, keeping it nice and straight. Then, gently lift the rod, flicking your wrist to bring the line back over your shoulder. As the line straightens out behind you, bring the rod forward smoothly, allowing the line to shoot forward in a controlled arc. Remember, it's all about letting the rod do the work and maintaining a smooth, fluid motion without rushing. Take your time to get the feel of it. Practice this casting technique in an open space like your backyard or a local park before heading out to the water. It's a simple yet effective way to get a feel for the rhythm of casting. And with a little practice, you'll be ready to try it on the water with confidence. When it comes to fishing locations, look for rivers or streams with slow-moving water. These are great spots for beginners because the fish are often more visible and the water conditions are easier to manage. Plus, these locations usually offer plenty of space to practice your casting without worrying about obstacles. Do a little research on local spots or even ask other anglers for recommendations. They're often happy to share their knowledge. To recap, today we covered the essential gear you'll need including rods, reels, lines, and flies. We also went over a basic casting technique that you can start practicing right away. Remember, fly fishing is a skill that anyone can learn with practice, patience, and a love for the outdoors. If you're excited to continue your fly fishing journey, make sure to check out my next video, where we'll dive into advanced techniques to help you catch more fish, refine your casting, and explore new fishing environments. I'd love to hear about your fly fishing experiences, so leave a comment below and let me know how you're getting on, whether you're a total beginner or already have a few casts under your belt. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on more fly fishing tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.